Well, first of all, you just said it. I'll repeat it if you'd like, but that's that's better advertising than I can do. This is the reason you go to the movies. Uh, so to be a part of a movie like this, big, giant, summer blockbuster thing, was thrilling to get to go on that ride. And uh, and then it's I, even fun to go see myself in it and, uh, and say, hey, hey, I know that guy. You know, he's all right. Well, I, I've been asked this a lot, and the, it's great to be able to answer that very little of it was green screen. I mean, clearly he didn't build a 700-foot-tall robot, but um, uh, he built, like, the helmet. <laughs> he built these giant things, and any time I was in a scene, whether I was running through the streets of Hong Kong or uh, in an underground bunker, he built it all. You know, there's a scene where... I'm cowering from these things and I'm, I'm in this bunker and the roof was actually shaking. They were shaking the roof and dust was coming down and I'm crammed together with 500 screaming, crying people and it felt very real. And uh, But also the sets were exquisite and beautiful. You would step on the set and, and you were in a work of art. I stole as many pictures and took as many videos as I could and, um, and uh, I'll sell them all online. So... Well, I first of all, uh, I I love the man, and uh, he's he is just one of the most lovely people you'll ever meet. Talented and filled with life and joy, and then to work with him and how passionate he is about making these movies and how much of every dime in this movie went on the screen. Uh, not every dime. I got about seven of them, but um. Uh, you know, he really cares about the movie. He wants it to be as great as it can be, and then you want it to be as great as as it can be, and 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 you're a part of this war, and you're fighting this battle with this guy, and um, and then and then to to do the movie and and to bring the human element of it, and and to be that part of his vision, uh, it's flattering. It's it's like uh, uh, it's you you want to be a pawn in his in his puzzle. It's great to be a part of it. You know, he did, which he said he, he doesn't normally do. He let me riff around a little bit and, and try to discover some human, uh, funny, kind of quirky moments. But then there were other times where he was very disciplined with, like, uh, physically where my hands were or any, any, any kind of thing he saw in his mind from an artistic standpoint, and we would do that. And he's a great collaborator. It was really, or at least he was with me, uh, and uh, it was... It was, it was fun to work that way. I said pawn in a puzzle, but I don't think there are pawns in puzzles. I'll, I'll go on the record saying I screwed that one up. I was in awe the entire time. Uh, it is literally an awesome movie. It's, uh, it's massive. It's uh, incredibly incredibly detailed and um, anytime you went to work uh, everything was the spectacle was already there on set the, the, mo the moment you stepped on and then with the the part that's added through special effects on top of that it's uh, it really is a visual explosion of a movie <laughs>